Hey guys, how's it going? Jason's here. Today, let's talk about paging intercom feature on Yaystar S-Series PBX. Paging an intercom is a fast and convenient way to realize quick announcements to IP phones and IP-based paging devices, including SIP speaker, SIP amplifier, SIP intercom, SIP paging adapter, and SIP paging server. The configurations are also easy. So, guess now, it's time for us to jump in. Log in to the PBX. Choose Settings and go to the PBX. Then, Call Features and find the Paging Intercom feature. Click on Add. First of all, define a number for this group. Other users can dial the group number to broadcast to all its members. If you want to customize it, go to the General Setting page and redefine it. Then we back here. Set a name for the group for better management. Then, choose a type. Three types are available. One-way paging, one-way multicast paging, and a two-way intercom. One-way paging is usually used for the announcement. All members in this group will listen to the caller who calls to this group. While two-way intercom allows all users to listen and talk to each other. As for one-way multicast paging, it's also used for announcements only, and IP phones listening to the same broadcast address as the PBX will hear the voice, whether registering to the PBX or not. Now, let's check the configuration. The configuration for one-way paging and two-way intercom is the same. Simply choose the extensions to which have been registered by the devices we want to broadcast. By the way, one more feature is available. Dial asterisk to answer. Enable this, and in-process call, one-way or two-way, will be a private call between the member who dials asterisk and the caller. Once we finish the settings here, when a user calls the group, all selected members' devices will answer the call into speakerphone automatically and hear the voice. Let's move on to the one-way multicast paging. Choose the type. As we can see, the configuration is different from the two types we mentioned. We need to define an IP address of the multicast channel instead of choosing members. Set an IP which satisfies the required range. That's all on the PBX side. Then, turn to configure the multicast feature on the IP phone. Take a link T56A as an example. Log in to the IP phone's web GUI. Go to Directory, find Multicast IP. In the Multicast Listening section, enter the same Multicast IP address and the port we've set on the PBX. After we finish the settings on both sides, all IP phones listening to the same broadcast address will hear the voice instantly when a user calls the group. Alright, guess that was all we have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details? Check our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.